All right, let's take a look here at this question. Calculate using the four square method. Write the answer in lowest terms. Okay, so the four square method, you can see I've, I've taken our board here and I've divided it into four sections. Okay, so we can break down this problem into four different stages, okay, using this sort of template. And this is the four square method. So the first thing we want to do is we want to write the problem in this box, okay. So our problem, we have three over six and we're adding one over four. So that's our problem, okay. Now, what we want to do is we want to write the lowest common denominator. That's our second step, okay. So to write the lowest common denominator, what we want to do is we want to find the lowest common multiple of our denominators. So our denominators are 6 and 4. So we're finding the lowest common multiple of 6 and 4. Okay? So if we go through these, we know that 6 times 1 is 6. Okay? 6 times 2 is 12. 6 times 3 is 18. 6 times 4 is 24, and 6 times 5 is 30. Okay, now let's write out the multiples of 4, and let's see if we can, if we can come across a, a, a common multiple. So 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times 3 is 12. And you can see we already have come across a common multiple. So we start at our lowest, we had 6 and 4. So the first one that's the same is 12. Okay, so that's our, our, our first one that's the same. Okay, so that is our lowest common denominator. Okay, so using this lowest common denominator, we want to rewrite the problem. So we, we want to do this by writing equivalent fractions. Okay? So if we look, at, look first at our first fraction, it's 3 over 6. Okay? We're going we're gonna to write an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 12 because 12 is our common denominator. Okay? So to do this, what do we need to multiply 6 by to get 12? Well, 6 times 1 is 6. Okay? That's not 12. 6 times 2 is 12. So we're going to multiply the denominator by 2 to get 12. So what we do to the denominator, we have to do to the numerator. So 6 times 2 is 12. We also must multiply the numerator by 2. So 3 times 2 is 6. Okay, so that there is our equivalent fraction for the first fraction. Okay, now let's look at the second fraction, 1 over 4. Okay, so if we look at 1 over 4, what do we need to multiply 4 by to get 12? Well, we know 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, and 4 times 3 is 12. Okay, so what we do to the denominator, we have to do to the numerator. So if we multiply the denominator by 3, we also need to multiply the numerator by 3. So we have 1 times 3. Okay, 1 times 3 is 3. 3. Okay, so those are our equivalent fractions. So if we're going to rewrite the problem now, our first fraction was 6 over 12. Okay, so we have 6 over 12. Okay, and we're adding to 6 over 12. We're adding 3 over 12. So that's our problem rewritten. Okay, now what we're going to do now is we're going to simplify. Okay, so we have 6 over 12 plus 3 over 12. And that gives us, if we add our numerators, we have 9. Leaving our denominators alone, we have 12. 9 over 12. To simplify this, we want to find a number that both 9 and 12 are divisible by. Okay? A number that both 9 and 12 are divisible by. Well, we know that if we focus on 9 first, 9 is divisible by 1, 9 divided, 9 is divisible by 1, 9 divided by 1 is 9, okay? 9 isn't divisible by 2, it can't be divided by 2 evenly. It can be divided by 3, okay? 9 divided by 3 is 3, okay? 4, it can't be divided by 4, or 5, or 6, or 7, or 8, but it can be divided by 9. 9 divided by 9 is 1, okay? Let's focus on 12 now. So the first... 
12 can be divided by 1. Okay, 12 divided by 1 is 12. 12 can be divided by 2, that's 6. 12 divided by 2 is 6. 12 can be divided by 3, okay, that's 4. 12 divided by 3 is 4, okay. We can see now we've already come across a number, or a number that is divisible by, that can go into both 9 and 12, and that's 3. Okay, so now what we want to do with those two numbers, and I'll just circle them in pink. So both, 3 can go into both 9 and 12, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide both 9 and 12 by 3, okay. And if we take 9 divided by 3 now, we get 3. And if we divide 12 by 3, we get 4. Okay, so 3 over 4 is our simplified answer.